way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. What if I miss this time? Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Our sock and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean... If Evelyn wanted to disappear, especially from Arasaka, she could have done better. This whole situation's bent over. Cheeks spread wide. Oh, all pleasure. Think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. matches interesting is that normal or who can say what is normal you're clearly a unique person with unique tastes our system can handle it so who will it be angel or sky rather go with sky i couldn't have chosen better myself now for the payment and you'll venture into the clouds there you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be Vincent. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay, then. V. Welp, looks like this'll be interesting. So, V. You're dying. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers, that's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker, 
Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. I was told this place to fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting, this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. Come to terms? Sure. Let me just curl up here on the floor and wait for whatever. Give up. That's what you're saying. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's what I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change, that thought alone could save your life. I'm afraid of becoming someone else. Forgetting who I am. You're already becoming someone else. Every second of every day. Still, I feel... a connection between who I was and who I'm turning into. What you really fear? Is becoming someone you don't recognize in the least. <sighs> so what now? You find out what it is you need to do. Which is... You're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going. How do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you got a kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. Thanks, uh... For all this. Jeez. Don't even feel like getting up. Few do. But everything has its end. Afterlife. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No.
You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat, but she could be in trouble. Just want to talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out, and maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am! No, sir, you're not. You Say what now? Stay calm, sir, or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. More like Hi. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure. Uh, I don't have your details. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Try calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Which was it? Osaka or Oslo? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so... I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent. Deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges and these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. So why, every time, do they restart the conversation where we left off? That's not remembering?
Wait, no clients allowed in here. Be a chum and close the door on your way out, would you? As you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over at Booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho prick who's never been ghosted by his bow or bill before. But go on. I'm listening. You've got info, I've got eddies. It's a fair trade. What's your price? You need to pull your head out of your ass. Eddies will buy your horse here, not snitches. I look like either of those to you. Oh well. Can't say I didn't try playing nice. Better think real hard where you want to take this. Cause you're really starting to piss me off. Clouds is under Tiger Claw control, isn't it? That's none of your fucking biz. Guessing you heard about Jotaro Shobo? Uh, Shobo had an accident. What Shobo had was a very unfortunate meeting with me. Just happened to be his last. You wouldn't want this to be your last meeting, would you? Of course not. Never wanted to be anything like Shobo. Girl you're looking for, Parker. She ain't here. Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here. But you don't know shit. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their jobs to generate profit. Is this you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, said he knew something or other. The Ripper. Name and address. Don't know her last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. And don't come back here. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. Quicker you're out of here, the better. Dark fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co-ed's wet dream. A pleasant day to you. The next time you have that urge for Cloud, don't wait. So hold up. Got a real charm, this place. In that slimy, subterranean kind of way. That's infidelity. You think Fingers got her? I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. See, your opinion about dollhouses hasn't changed. Oh, but it has. Before, I wouldn't have touched one with a ten-mile pole. Now I'm thinking a fire would really make this place shine.
<laughs> you had a plan, you tried, it fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find help. Oh, fuck! The hell's that? No, no, damn it! It's all going too slow. I'm gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Can't find the words to describe exactly how fucked up you are. I just needed a calmer moment to think. And yeah, figured since fate gave me another shot, I'll take it. To live life to the fullest? See the northern lights? Run with the mech bulls or with gazelles on a safari? To finish what I started, I'm back in the game. Want Sokka out, so I'm gonna need you in. <laughs> but why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. Okay, so... This Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. <sighs> Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. Feeling a bit better now, so scram. Got something important needs doing. One last thing. Alt Cunningham. She's the ace up my sleeve. Oh, fuck off. I'm tired of hearing your voice. Don't blame you, but you'll hear me yet. And don't get killed in the meantime, will ya? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock. Goes by fingers. Oh, shit. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from Clouds. Uh, all right, later, V. Here, kitty, kitty, what's the rush? Yeah? Gear looks a little freaky, Hey, not one step closer. Here to see who. Got an issue, need sorting out. Here to do that. So how about you fuck off, let me through, and no one will be the wiser. So serious from the get-go? I was only joking, sheesh. Fine. Let him through, Sludge. 
Got a financial claim? Take it to court, you Fuck pussy. Up and leave me be. Fine, I get it. V, hey. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the green of path. Hello! There's a line. Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down Let's and wait your turn. Let's see familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docks in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come <sighs> up with something better. Just watch you don't break your legs, honey. You're gonna be begging Fingers for a new pair. <sighs> Fingers a friend to the working guys and girls around here? Helped me. I'd be in a wheelchair if it wasn't for him. He chipped you some chrome with real skin that had peeled off. What he replaced it with looks like a bathroom floor from a senior home. Better than being a cripple. I need to talk to him. It's important. You think we're just here to polish our nails, huh? I'll let you cut in front of me. You're a real pain in my cleat, Mitzi. You know that? And you might as well knock and find out when he's mopping up. Supposed to be a goddamn clinic. Not in any of your laundrette. Go on now. Don't you worry about her. Come on. Let's go. Think he's done. Don't worry. Your eyes will adjust. Yes? Hello. What can I do for you? Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. I know she was here in your... clinic. Ah, so that's what this is about. Where is she? Ah, a loaded question if I've ever heard one. You, I recall, you visited me before. Whereas you, I can't quite place. Uh, let me guess. Tiger Claws? I'm with the Mox. Ah, the Mox. Enchanté. So, what brings you here? Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... Like they deserve it. Of course. Forest. Name mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You. you talk to him? I'm the one asking the questions here. Was Woodman the one who introduced Evelyn to you? Introduced? <laughs> Interesting choice of words. Rolled her in on a gurney, more like. She was out of it. I honestly couldn't believe she wasn't dead. Never mentioned her name, so... I just called her Doll. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Get to the point. Point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It 
It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me! Look, the quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. Where will we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I, I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gonk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gonk? What do you think? Why'd all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they were going to take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Need air. I'll be outside. Judy's right. People like you make this city a living hell. Day in, day out. Got what you wanted, didn't you? So get the fuck out of here! Trump has also announced plans to run for mayor in the upcoming election. Don't worry. We'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey, keep it together. You want to give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. We need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Well... Your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. Darknet domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van.
I can be anything you want me to be. Shit, her implants are older than I am. Can't believe she finds the spares to keep them running. Gotta be all kinds of hazard. If the short circuit's hard to stop beating and snap. Could have been just a bit more careful. But I was. And I gotta work out, you know. Hey, yo, man, you're trying to rip us off? If I got four bags to see a jelly here. roll. They'd That's sit at the home and look in the mirror. Don't like it? Take it up with him. I'm sure. I ain't dealing with that. I feel something raw. That I touched me. Got a problem. Raw's you all you get with me. I don't now, I could paint the sidewalk with your guts, but that wouldn't I'll get me what I'm I'll come back some off. other time. Oh, you want to try? Go on, son. Tell him we'll have the Eddies tomorrow. How about you? You're buying or just gonna stand there like a pig undercover? Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Cops are like kids. Mommy and Daddy wouldn't let them go off in their lonesome. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. Got anything that might interest me? Pleasure doing biz with you. Everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch me. Besides chopping people up, they were scrolling XBDs. Ordinary box, Decker, Tanaka, and Rogers logo. Standard for a trash heap. Ordered recently. Scav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Electric Corp patch in the coveralls. Christ, it's hot. Thermal readings are off the charts. Keep looking. Coveralls had a patch on him. Electric Corp. Hmm, could be a costume. A prop? Factory worker fetish? Hard as hell to believe. Hmm. Yet it explained the higher thermal readings, too. You could be onto something. <laughs> Can't beat that rich synth got aroma. Cheap shit. Cold, too. Mm-hmm. Bucket slice. Coffee was cold. Like, from the day before. 
Pizza looked fresh, though. So? Means someone's grabbing bucket slice regularly, which is not something someone does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna slap across town for it. Okay. We're looking for an electric core power plant located near a bucket slice. EC used to have a big old complex in Charter Hill. Bucket slice checks out too. How can you be sure though? Here we go. Old electric core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the Death's Head Moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. They'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. All right, going in. Did you get everything inside? the blueprint. Be there in a sec. Try to find a way to the lower levels. I was going for this game treating you well? Meh. Meh. What the fuck does meh mean, huh? I sit here all day. I see your ugly face more than the input. I don't care. 
Found a way down. You see my position? We have yep, in a sec. Wait for me. Need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping her. Watch her they heard something. We don't have enough methion in for two days. Relax. Oh, not we'll good. Add RTL and the weight will be right. RTL? Get rid of them my way. Call, but you gotta make it now. I see he's bad. I know. He's the boss, isn't he? So he should live like one. He's the boss because he can get the decision more for dirt. Pussies like you. You to be that pussies were just pussies. Now we're the ones with our dicks in our heads. Hey, what if we. Assholes. Looks like you got them all. Now Delta to the hallway. Back in the samurai days, we'd place ads in this thing looking for background dancers. Looks like you weren't the only ones with bright ideas. It was a veritable gold mine of women. down. Careful. Two live ones there. I'll distract him. You take him down. What are you thinking? Shows Screw with those pipes. Get some smoke going. Solid steel, not softcore plastic kind. Even if you come here on your own, gunning to become a star, there's no guarantee you're ever getting out.
that's a maintenance room. See what I can stir up. says boys <laughs> Gutted out all her implants. And why stop there? Took a few internal organs while they were at it. How so very resourceful. many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so.
Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Freed up the elevator. Should be easier to get out of here. You really don't fuck around, do you? Wait one sec for me. All right, I'm here. Let's find her. Hang in there, Ev. That's Evelyn. Just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. I see her. Cable 2. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And... Now! Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors. And manage to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Smoking's for posers, and it stinks, too. Say whatever the fuck you want, but just light up. No. Non-smokers are the fucking worst. Just my luck. We going in? Let's give him a couple. You saw how she looked. If it was up to me, I would have splashed some water on her face back at the studio and asked her straight up. It's not up to you, though, is it? Let's go. She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. You're mad at her? Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any I know. Other... It's okay. So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Listen, Evelyn. I really need your help. It's important. If I don't do anything, and do it soon, I'll die.
Well, now, look at you. Have a seat. All right. Roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage them in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy. But I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see. What am I looking out for? Take a look around if you what want. What am I looking out for? Can't see your face. Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. That, or someone's working it for her. Every single piece of tech I see, security. Hmm. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys, but that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find, because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. Every chip himself? Uh, should I might not be important. Maybe. But all of them are from Pacifica. Now it's down our search, at least. What now? Looks like Bio I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. All right, I think we got everything. What do you think? It looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me? If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. It's pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Oui, oui, allez. Vous avez raison, vous êtes tout intelligent, intelligent. What language is she speaking? I don't know. Haitian Creole? It is the Voodoo Boys. Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Got it. Give it a second. We have to know what they're saying. It could be important. Funny. Just found the auto transfer. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Okay, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? Long story, trust me. Go ahead. I'm all ears. 
Now's not the best time. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that Netrunner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that Juju Wirehead, okay? Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Listen, I'm gonna run. I'll ask around, make a few calls. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. V, hey, what's shaking? Need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief if you can swing it. All right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. Be tough getting a word into her. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos. Won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Uh, got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. 